story time about why I do not date ugly men. Welcome to the channel. Yeah, you didn't think I was gonna say that, did you? <laughs> Welcome to the channel. Good, very valid. About six years ago, I used to work at this club called Crazy Horse in Vegas. Now, I met this man there. He was so generous, so nice. It's a gentleman's club. We, like, really connected us. Like, bro, we talking, talking. So, we exchanged numbers, and he's like, you know, when I come to L.A., I really want to see you. And I'm like, all right, bet. So, we started going on dates in L.A. Now, just to give you a little bit of rundown. L even though this man was so intellectual, you know, generous with his money, I would give him about a four on a scale of one to ten. Because he was not attractive at at all like not attractive and it was a black man but let me tell you they not all attractive let me tell you they not so and he was short Who knows how she put so much emphasis on he's so sweet he's so nice he's so intellectual since you work at a gentleman's club be real with yourself how intellectual can you be what are you using your brain for first of all ma'am you creeping me out first of all i can see why you ain't got no man now you run them away with them big bug eyes them things like triple XL. and it was a black man let me tell you they not all attractive let me tell you they not so and he was short you stupid but you know got black love so here i am trying to just you know get around the image she got black love and so he comes to la he stays in a hotel she did him a favor hotel, and you know he comes down to the lobby and is ready to go out so let me tell y'all something i had on my sunday best i still remember this like it was yesterday i had on a nice dress with a gucci mink coat like i pulled it out because i was trying to look like a million dollar for him you know what i mean like you got money so i don't want to look like a little fashion over whore he comes down the stairs with some robin's egg blue cargo pants like swear they was like sky blue robin's egg blue and then the shoes was like a highlighter yellow sneaker and then the top was like a black shirt short sleeve with a bunch of rhinestones so i'm not understanding what the black rhinestones with the robin's egg blue and a highlighter have anything to do with each other so i just politely asked him like is this your going out outfit tonight and he was like yeah he was like what's wrong well i said it's just that everything doesn't really go together like maybe you could swap out one of the pieces so it's more cohesive and he was like oh no i don't like women who try to change me i like what i like and i was like good see you're not even open to coaching because that's the thing like Shut up. Respect to this man. Respect you, my brother. Because for one, do not let your woman change you. Even if it's something as small as that. Yeah, it right? is very serious. You open yourself up to a whole lot of trouble down the road. You fumbling right here. Like, bro, you don't want no real friends. Don't so, so anyway, we go out He got money. Room. He's successful. The you're not a fashion over coach. Over again. Oh, you must have a lot of money. Oh, you're so lucky. How the heck did you get her? Bruh. They said that so many times. How the heck did you get her? You must have a lot of money. And that makes me feel like, what do I look like? A little bowhead of hot uh, yeah. the blade? Like, you think I'm just go out with anybody as long as I got money? I'm not a pay escort. I'm not paying help. And that's why it's like, nah. You can't just make exceptions if y'all don't look like you go together because people gonna judge you. You probably a flown out backdoor bust down. I mean, she's on OnlyFans. <laughs> you not no fashionista. You're nobody. Nobody is coming to you saying, dang, how he bagged her. Even if dude ugly, come on now. We all been there. We all seen ugly dudes with bad girls. But the thing is, you think it in your head, but do you ever say it to the man? No, you don't. Women or men. Let's be real here. Am I being honest? You a backdoor bust down. Nobody's treating you like that. You're average at best. Hey, internet family. So this is my outfit today. It is content day. We're going to be filming my new series. Who? Um, so we gotta dress like a boss bay. And one thing I love you guys is leather and legs. I love me some legs. I don't care. We got the French tip with the cheetah print. So even though I have a date later, I'm gonna have to switch my purse. I figured we could match the cheetah print with the red lip, with the red Louboutin bag, with the watch. You love it. You see what I'm saying? Now everything I said makes sense, right? <laughs> this is why you black women cannot win in the dating market. Because you will get a man that has money and lose him because of what other people are thinking, apparently, or whatever your beliefs is. Like, she said he's generous. So I'm pretty sure that he's bought her some things. He probably bought that little mink that she was talking about, that she was bragging about. Yeah, he bought those. I'm just being real. He's the guy with money. He didn't get his money listening to you. She's just a backdoor bust down that just got lucky for one night and now she thinks she's owed the world and thinks she's supposed to dictate way the man drinks, thinks, and everything. The way the man spends his money.
I hope I talk some sense into some of y'all empty heads. Y'all marbles probably like over there overheating or something. <laughs> but the ones that really got it, y'all understand. I know y'all did though. I know I'm talking to like 99% of y'all that really understood. So anyways, good job to you. The rest of y'all, <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, <laughs> I'm just playing. Do better. Like, share, subscribe if you're new though. Hit the bell for notifications. I will catch you next video. Okay, see you later. Bye.